In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Xbox Series S using your smartphone. This can be done in under 10 minutes and you'll be able to game quickly. So let's get started. So take your phone, Android or iPhone, it's not important. Go on the Google Play Store or App Store and you're gonna need to search for Xbox. These are the search results and you need to get this one over here, the Xbox app. Do not get Xbox Game Pass. That's the one we need, Xbox only. All right, I have downloaded the Xbox app. I'll just launch it. And this is the first screen I'll see. Now you have two options, sign in or set up console. You may, may be tempted to select set up console, but I suggest you sign in first. You'll have to do it anyway, so let's get done with this. So press sign in. If you see this appearing on your smartphone screen, press continue. And now you have to sign in into your Microsoft account. If you do not have one, don't worry, just press create one. It takes about two minutes, it's free, and you'll be done with this. In my case, I already have one, so I'll simply type my email there, my Outlook email, and connect to my account. Okay, now I have signed in into my Outlook account and you may have this screen if you didn't do it previously. So you'll have to choose how you look on your Xbox and there's a series of pictures over here. This is not important because it can be changed later. That's uh, not something that will be permanent. So I'll go ahead and select this eye and you'll need to type a gamer tag. This is a name that every friend, everybody when you'll play online will see. So go ahead and choose a gamer tag. Then go down and select next. Then press let's go. Then press next. Then press next. Here it's up to you to select if you want to receive notification from Xbox on your phone. In my case, I don't want, so I'll just turn them all off. And then press save preferences. Then press allow. It will ask you if you want to link these apps over here, Reddit, Discord, Twitch, whatever. You can do this afterwards, so you're not obligated to do it now. So I'll press not now. Now it will ask you if you want to add some friends. This can be done uh, after. So again, I'll just skip it. I'll press not now. We're just trying to set up this Xbox as quick as we can. And now we'll get the setup console button. Press on this. Now it's the time to type the password that you see on the screen. Yours will be different, obviously. So I'll go ahead, tap over here and start typing. So I have B, Q, V, Z, J, W, Y, H, W, X. Once you're done, press connect to console. Press join. You'll get the connected screen on your TV with a green check mark. This is great. Now press the next button. You'll have to choose the language of your Xbox. So over here, I'll just leave it English and your location. I'll leave it to Canada because this is where I am. If it's not there, tap on it and select your country. Then press the next button. Now let's connect your Xbox to the internet, to the Wi-Fi. So go ahead, select your Wi-Fi network from this list. Mine is this one and type the password. Then press join. Now, depending how far is your uh, router, it may take a few seconds or a minute. Here we go. Your console is online. We can now press next. If your console needs to have an update, I suggest you do it. And to do this, just press next. Over here, it tells me that it needs about a 1 gig, 1.4 gig uh, for the update. So it may take a few minutes. Press next. So the Xbox will start updating as you see here, and you can continue on your phone, by the way. So over here, it will ask you if you want to turn on a feature where you're gonna use your phone to control your Xbox. You'll be able to turn it on and use your phone as a remote. 
You can also use it uh, to chat on Discord. So let's say you have your controller in one hand and over here on your phone, you're able to go on Discord. It's up to you if you want this feature, you're not obligated. And if you want it, just press turn on over here. If you want to skip this and uh, again, do it afterwards, press skip. And this is what I will do. Now it will ask you if you want to automatically update your Xbox as soon as an update is available. I suggest you keep it on this way. You don't have to worry about any updates. It will just do it automatically. So just press next. Now press next again. On this screen, it will ask if you want to put a password on your Xbox. So let's say you have a brother, sister, or maybe other people you don't know coming at your home and you don't want them to have access to your account. And this could be important because if you have put your credit card on your Xbox account, you don't want them to start purchasing stuff that you didn't agree. So if you want to put a passcode, go ahead and select lock it down. As it says here, you'll need an authorized sign in, buying things, changing settings using your Microsoft account. If you're going to be the only user of your Xbox, you can simply select no barriers here and there won't be any password. So I'll do this and press next. Here it will ask you if you want to enable instant sign in. This way you won't have to sign in into your Microsoft account every time you try to use your Xbox. And for me, this saves me time because when I power up my Xbox, I want to get to play as soon as possible. I don't want to go through menus and stuff like that. So I'll press enable instant sign in. Here, just leave it on and press next. Now it will ask you if you want Xbox to send you messages about games and stuff like that. I don't want to be bothered. So I'll leave the, these off and press next. It will ask you if you want to install certain apps on your Xbox. You can do it now by uh, simply selecting them over here with a green check mark and then uh, pressing install apps or you can do this afterwards. So I'll just uncheck everything since I don't want these really and I will select maybe later here. Now it will ask you will this console be used by kids? In my case, it's no, so I'll press no. If yours is yes, press yes. If you press yes, you'll be able to put a parental lock so your kids don't have access to certain things. And you'll get this screen all done. Press the small X button on top here, and you'll be on the main menu screen of the Xbox app on your phone. If your Xbox was updating, there's a good chance that it is not done. Over here, it's at 83% for the first download. So it may take a while. So I'll just pause this video and come back when this will be done. Okay, I'm back. It took quite a while to download and install the update. And now we have this screen. Meanwhile, uh, my controller turned off. So it just tells you to press the Xbox logo on the controller to turn it on. So this is what I did. Then it will tell you to press button A like this. And now you may have this screen appearing. Uh, if you got the bundle, which came with three months of free Game Pass, you'll have this screen and this is the chance to claim it. If you do not want to claim your free months uh, of Game Pass, you can do it later. So it starts later. Or you can also give it to another account. But as I said, you may not even have this screen. So I'll select decide later. I just press A to confirm. And now we get this screen. That's the last screen. Finally, take home, press A again. And we are on the home page of your Xbox, finally. And from here, you can navigate in all these options using this joystick over here. You see, it's especially nice because there are some free games over here you can download right now. You don't need any Game Pass. You don't need any subscription. They're all 100% free. So you can browse again with the joystick. Go to show more if you want to see even more of them. Here you go. And here are all the free games that are ready to be installed.
So this is it. I hope this tutorial was useful. If so, please leave a comment down below. If you want to get some accessories for your Xbox Series S, I'll put some Amazon links in the description. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video.